We are rolling. Yo, yo, welcome to Joe Code. It is great to be recording here in South Austin, Texas. Beautiful area, beautiful land, beautiful uh, wind and skies, just a lovely area. And uh, just feel lucky to be here sometimes. There's days where when I wake up in the morning, I, I forget where I am or like that I live in Austin. It's really strange. I'll just wake up and be like, wait, where am I? And I'm like, oh, yeah, I live in Austin, Texas. It's very weird. I'm still getting used to it. I've only been here two and a half months now. And yeah, it just it just takes time to get used to a new place. So I'm loving it, but yeah, it just it's weird when you have things like that. You just wake up and you're like, "Oh, where the heck am I?" And then you just it takes you a minute to remember. So yeah, it's great to be here. Great to be, <clears throat> great to be recording. Uh, just want to promote the stand up show this week. It's coming up. It is coming up soon, this Thursday, January 20th at the Creek in the Cave. It is my show. I'm producing it. I'm the host. I'll be performing. Got all my friends on the show. They're also great comedians. It's Derek. <clears throat> it's myself. <laughs> Sorry. It's myself. Leave it in. We don't, we don't, you know, this is real life. Voices are going to crack. Yeah, we don't edit. Yeah, we don't need to. You know, I, I try to. Uh, I usually will have a glass of water with me when we're recording, but I couldn't find a clean glass in the house. Yeah. Just want to throw that out there. But um, I. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, the, the lineup, it's me, Derek Poston, Sam Lopez, Dylan Sullivan. And Jeffrey Burner, all great comics. I, I know last week I mentioned Tony Hinchcliffe. Tony actually can't do the show. Uh, he's going to be traveling that day. So uh, it's all right. We're going to have a great time. It's going to be a lot of fun. The show will be fun. Every comic does a Joe Eats at the beginning, beginning of their set. Then they do comedy. It's a lot of fun. So, again, that's this Thursday January 20th. Ticket link is in my Instagram bio uh, or in my current Instagram story as well. So get on it. Come see me. Hey, guys that I ran into at the bar Saturday that come up to me. Uh, you're a fan? Buy tickets to the show. I'm trying to eat. Okay, I'm trying to pay rent. Okay, I'm trying to pay Gary. You know, I got to pay Gary money. He's always like, we record a podcast, and he's like, show me the money, bitch. So, uh, how's it going, Big Gare? How was your birthday? Big Gare, as they call you down at the club. Yeah, that's what they call me down at the Red Rose. Yeah. Uh, I had a good birthday. And, uh, you know, just hung out, went to Top Golf with. Okay. Uh, Ex-wife and all that kind of good stuff. That's fun. Top golf. Any any lap dances? You turn twenty nine. Would twenty nine lap dances or um, no? a little bit more than that? Okay. Well, happy birthday, Gary. Yeah, I mean you deserve it. Get uh, get your rocks off. Yeah. Uh, you know what? Actually, the day the January tenth uh, was Monday, and I went to kill Tony. Yeah, and, uh, I saw you there. Tony said I looked like that one dude looked like me. On yeah, the that pod, guy. Which made me laugh really hard. Yeah, that was funny. But that guy, you're, you're a lot better looking than that guy. Well, yeah, it was a joke. Yeah. Um, I mean, I guess there was a slight, slight resemblance maybe of the shape of your guy's head. but uh, You think that's what it was? The curvature of my skull? I, I don't know. Maybe. I think uh, how else would he have gotten that? I th yeah, I, I think it was the head. Yeah, because he's got you guys got kind of a like a small head or something. I don't know. But... <laughs> oh, hey everybody! Guess what? There's a drill on the desk tonight because 
why not? I, I think we're going to just have a different tool on the desk every week. We'll, we'll go with the Stein. Uh, today we have a DeWalt drill. Uh, it makes me feel like a man. And there's a uh, Route 66 sign behind us that has really nothing to do with anything, but it's kind of a just a kind of a classic sign. I bought that, that on Gary Route put up. 66. All right, that's cool. Uh, yeah, I, I thought I'd put a tool on the desk because every time I walk in, you're always like working on something. It's like walking into Tim the Toolman Taylor's house. So we don't we don't ever start on time. Um, you're always working on something when I get here. <laughs> so we're just gonna we're just gonna incorporate the tools with the podcast now. I don't. But yeah, eventually we're going to get, yeah, we, I should put up like a all things comedy sign. We have the Faust TV studio sign. Um, this is a professional podcast, as we like to say. I, I, I definitely do want to get uh, an all things comedy uh, sign in, instead of that uh, Route 66. That's where I'm going to put it. Or I was, was going to surprise you, but I'm thinking about getting a Joe Code sign made. Oh, that'd be cool, yeah. Yeah. And then... Um, Thanks for blowing the surprise. Well, I just don't know if it makes sense because we have the TV logo. Yeah, that's the only thing. We already have the Joe Code logo. But unless it's like a really subtle kind of sign. But, yeah, well, uh, let's, uh, let's keep that in mind. Um, so... Will do. Yeah, so I wanted to, I wanted to get to this... Uh, I was on this uh, date today, actually. It was a nice nice daytime date. Yeah, I heard good things about it, Joe. Yeah, it was fun. It was enjoyable. What happened to the TV? Oh, it, don't worry about it. The logo's off. We're having the The TV's issues. been fucked up all week. It's all right. People can listen to this podcast as well. <laughs> it's not always about presentation. And showmanship, sometimes just about listening. Um, I'm going to keep going. I don't really care. I had a... So, I'm on this date, though. and we're, I got it back up. And we're having a good time. And then this guy sits right behind the woman that I'm with. Like, at the next table, like, right behind her, like, back to back. And, like, starts, like, talking to her when I went to the bar to get us drinks. And I come back and I see him like trying to chat her up. <laughs> and I, you know, I don't know if we're still at the point where we like threaten people. <laughs> I mean, this guy's cock blocking clearly. <laughs> and then she told me afterwards that he was like asking her, like, hey, are you guys on a first date? And like, how's it going? It's like, hey, man, get a life. Yeah. This guy's an Eagles. He was wearing an Eagles hat. Oh, uh, well, there's the problem. Yeah. Right the there. E- I mean, the Eagles were getting their ass kicked at the time. But don't take it out on me. Was he drunk? I don't know. I don't think so. But he was alone by himself trying to mac on my date. And then he thought he could smooth it over by offering us some of his blackened chicken quesadilla. And that worked. So if you're going to hit on my date, <laughs> give me food. And then Did you end up being be- part of his case? Yeah. <laughs> Black and chicken. <laughs> Welcome back. Hey, when's the last time I've had black and chicken? It's been a while. And it was in a quesadilla. So I'm like. So, so this guy, this guy started macking on your date when you went to the bathroom. And you came back and you were like, hey, what's your problem? And he said, sorry, you, you want some of my quesadilla? And you said, yeah, everything's fine. Now. Yeah, no, I, I, didn't, I didn't. No, I didn't confront. I didn't say, hey. What's going on? I just, when I came back, he just stopped talking. Then we were talking. And then he was like, just offered us food. He's like, hey, guys, I'm not going to eat this. <laughs> it's so weird. And, we're, and at first, I'm like, no, no, we don't want it. And then, I'm like, and then I looked at it, and he's like, yeah, it's black and chicken. I'm like, oh, yeah, give me it. Give me it. Give me it. <laughs> give me half of it. Yeah, he gave us two pieces. You should have done a Joe Eats. I could have, yeah. But I don't know. He also should have picked up my tab. Don't ask how, how the dates go. How old was this guy? 
he had to be like, he, he looked like he was around 40. I don't know. He was pretty big as well. Sometimes with big people, you can't tell how old they are. When you say big, you mean he was a fat ass? Yeah. Yeah. I was trying to be nice. So. But yeah, why should I be nice to him? Yeah. It wasn't nice to me. So. Yeah, that guy was trying to steal your date from you. Yeah, what was he, Mr. Steal Your Girl? So, uh, yeah, I was out. I went. I was out this weekend. It was fun. I it, work wound up working really hard this week and making some money. So yesterday, I was like, I'm I'm gonna go out, grab a grab some food, grab a beer. Saturday afternoon, NFL playoff games on. So I'm like, I'm yeah, I'm doing it. And uh, I was at this one bar. I, I uh, actually would like to apologize to uh, Stagger Lee um, because I I knocked the the cups over. Um, They have a water. (laughs) I knocked this whole stack of cups over. So they had a big Yeti. A lot of the bars now have, you don't get water at the bar. You know, they have like a water cooler. You see that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. get your own water. Get your own water. So they had this big Yeti cooler thing set up with the cups on top, and it just wasn't it wasn't set up right. I, I tried to pour the water. I couldn't get... They had it set up where you couldn't really fit the cup under the spout. So I, I tried to tilt the cooler, and the cups were on top, and the cups all fell to the ground. And I walked away when that happened. Okay. I walked away. So it sounds like it was a, uh, not really your fault. The design of the system was faulty. That's what I thought. So the cups fell, and I said, they got them. <laughs> so that's going to take me to this sucks for this week. And this sucks for this week is when I'm not in a position to succeed. Okay. I need to be able to fit a cup completely under a spout to fill up a cup of water, okay? And if I can't do that, cups are going to fall, okay? There's going to be problems. Cups are going to fall, and then people are going to step on them, and then everyone's going to have to listen to a smashing plastic sound. Set me up to succeed. Don't set me up to fail like that. But with that being said, Staggerly is a fun bar, and I had a good time. And maybe I should have picked up the cups, but I didn't want to. I don't think it really matters. Because I was set up to fail. So. (laughs) Yeah. Hey, how did that date end, by the way? Yeah, it was nice. We uh, we're going to see each other again. We had we had a good rapport. Yeah, we had a good rapport. And, um, yeah, we got along with mute. There's a mutual attraction. So, uh, yeah, there, w- there will be a second date. Sounds like somebody, uh, just, Hey, watch your mouth over there. <laughs> this is a family show. <laughs> That's the, that feels cool when you, pull on a drill like that it's what really i mean you you feel it in your bones like you know feels good <laughs> so i i also so we're doing the the show on thursday but also to my chicago f- family and friends i'll be there friday january 28th doing two shows and uh i'll tell you this chicago if i have a bad time again guess what i'm not coming back uh i talked about how over christmas it was awful and you know what if that happens again which i don't think it will because i'll at least be doing comedy shows but this is a threat if it's bad, I will not come back. I, f- I will delete Expedia from my phone. I will not search for airfares. And I will not pull out my credit card and pay for said airfares. 
I will not do it. Okay, I don't want people, I don't want to come in that weekend and then people are like, oh, you know what, I, I, I got to stay in. I got to make sure I'm healthy for that NFC championship game. All right, someone's going to come up with some bullshit excuse like that. Like, oh, I can't go out. I got to make sure I'm healthy for championship Sunday because that's going to be going on that weekend. Is that people are going to make up excuses. But no, we're going to, it'll be fun. Uh, it's going to be, it'll be fun. Don't cancel on me, people. Okay. Chicago, I love you. And, and that's basically that. Uh, things have, uh, things have slowed down a bit at work. So, uh, I've at, over at the hotel doing the valet. So, um, (laughs) So I was only supposed to work like two days this week, but the guys that I work with are tremendous people. They gave me, like, both of them gave me a shift because these guys have been there for a few years. You know, they've, they've got like money saved and they know my situation. Like I just got here. I'm trying to build up some capital here and, they have seniority. They can work if they want because they want only want like one or two people on instead of like three of us. And they both were like, hey, uh, you can have my shift. You know, you're – and you know what? That's good. I, I feel like you're a good person. Things like that will happen. And, uh, I yeah, I would like to uh, make this my Joe code for the week. And that is lend a helping hand from time to time. When you can help someone out who needs it and you know that they need a helping hand uh, and you're in a position to where you can help out and you can do that, that's, that's, that's a wonderful thing. So, uh, yeah, my coworker, uh, Travis, who – deserves to be mentioned by name he uh yeah because I was pretty bummed when they said that you know we're cutting back hours I and when he texted me he's like I I literally almost teared up because you kind of you sometimes forget how you know how wonderful people can be so that was sweet that was nice so I wound up having a nice week at work and it, it's thanks to my coworkers, and and it's also thanks to myself for being fun at work and being friendly and making people laugh and being liked. So, so yeah, that that uh, that's good. Uh, I want to do some emails. I got we got some good ones here, Gary. You want to hear some? Yeah, it's my favorite part of the show. Oh, is it really? Okay, this is... uh, All right, from Samantha. We got another woman right Oh, here. Samantha. So, Samantha says, hi, Joe. All right, <laughs> come on. Remember the last woman uh, said just hi? So now, hi, Joe. This is a fun game. Maybe we should stop... Accepting emails from women. No, we're not going to do that. All right, so the next woman, you have to surpass Hi Joe. That is the that is the next challenge to our <laughs> to our female listeners. Why Why do you think that the women emailing into the show are having such a difficult time as opposed to the men? Well, I think it's like a funny. I think now it's going to be just like a fun game, so I, they have uh, a sense of humor. It's going to be like a like a shtick. Maybe they it, do. I I I'd go along with it. It's funny. So, why not? <laughs> uh, oh yeah, I, I should say our email. I, I don't know if I I haven't mentioned it. I don't think in the last couple episodes, but write in to Joe Code Podcast at Joe Code Podcast at Gmail dot com. Uh, hit me hard with emails about f- food, beer, and men. 
Anything Food, else? Beer and men. Yeah, I mean anything else is great also, but you know that's my. Those are my favorites. That's what that's what you specialize in. Yeah. Food, beer, and men. Yes. So we got one here from Anthony. Oh, this is a good one. If you had to eat one sandwich for the rest of your life, what would your go to be? That is a good one. Wow. That's a really good one. Oh man. I I gotta say, some kind of ch- some kind of chicken. I want to say, I was not expecting you to. say Or maybe that. chicken, or like a maybe maybe a breaded steak sandwich. Or you know what? No, you know what I really love, which I really have come to love, is a chicken milanesa. I don't think I even know what that is. Yeah. I mean, I could go like meatball or Italian, but I don't know. If I got to go one, chicken milanese is like a breaded chicken. It's really good. So you're going to go with chicken milanese? Yeah. That's what you're going to go with? I I think I'm going to go with it. Okay. I am not sure maybe if I'm just craving this right now, but it would be some sort of a cold cut sub. Okay. Um possibly from like you know Jersey Mike's cuz they have those real big ones they fill you up they got the good shredded lettuce the yeah, tomatoes the giant. Are crisp yeah yeah um and it would have mayo bacon ham uh maybe roast beef or turkey i'm not sure which one but it ha- but the reason i would pick that is because it has a variety of flavors and different food in it yeah as opposed to having you know you know what i Man, that's such a hard question. Like, cause like I, I, I might even go turkey BLT. Yeah, it's kind of what I mean. Yeah, but, but but with but not just the BLT, just a bunch of stuff. Like Mayo, that. avocado. Right. It got you got more options. Voice crack. Yeah. Voice cracked again. Yeah. Are you um going through uh, like a second puberty? Yeah, puberty. I'm, my birthday, I'm going to be 38 in a couple of weeks. There's a next stage of uh, puberty. Oh, they, oh, this is a great email from Jonah. Okay. Greetings from the UK. Okay, international. Cheers, mate. Yeah. Is that what they say? Uh, top of the morning. Yeah, top of the morning. Uh, a Taco Bell has just opened in my town. What should I order? Let's go. Now oh, we're talking. This is easy. Love the pod. Keep up the good work. Now... If I'm telling someone to go to Taco Bell, the first thing I tell them to get is a cheesy gordita crunch. That's exactly what I was going to say. Okay, perfect. And then I would also say steak quesadilla. That's all. I was going to say chicken, but also quesadilla. Okay. What's number three? Yeah, third thing. Ooh, I would say burrito supreme <sighs> sub the beef for steak. Okay, so Why, I was. What are you? What do you think? I was cheesy gordita crunch is the best thing on the menu. It always has been. Yeah, I was gonna say cheesy gordita crunch, chicken quesadilla, Doritos although the steak, ta- steak one's good. No, crunch wrap supreme. Okay, yeah, forgot about that. Yeah, you could go crunch. I See, even that's that's right up our alley right there. That's easy. I even like those little loaded grillers. Yeah, they have. dude. Okay, they're yeah. Why don't you get Chipotle, fired up about it? I'm, yeah. not, I'm gonna go to Taco yeah, Bell. Yeah, the Chipotle after this. chicken. Yeah. We should go to Taco Bell. I'll drive you home. We'll go to Taco Bell. All right. That's exciting. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, give me yeah, a now, rock. Now I'm fucking starving for Taco Bell. Yeah, I could go. I could go for it. Thanks, Jonah. You got us pumped up. That, st- that was that was the best email we've ever gotten. We're starving our asses off. The, actually, the 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 um the sandwich question is a really difficult question. For the rest of your life, one sandwich? Yeah, I, I know. I, I that's can't, a hard one. It's too hard. It's too hard, man. I'm yeah. I'm getting hungry now. Yeah, so am I. And uh, in my this is great for the week is more food. You know what? We're big on food here. I'm Joe Eats. We talk food. And uh, my this is great for this week is actually two things. Two things I had. First off, was the smash burger that I had at Bad Larry's was amazing. And now. Smash burger. I only got two patties. I would if I I would start at three next time and then go from there. 
because you can do up to five. You got to start at three because I had two, and I'm like, I could have another two. And it was just the greasiness. It, oh, I, I love a smash burger. I, I, I don't eat them enough. There's like meat hanging off. I, I love that. So good. If you go there, st- I would start at three patties. Three. What's the best way to do three? Three patties. And the other thing I had was... Uh, <laughs> did, you, did you just do the... Do that? No, the I, shocker? Did, I did this. That's, yeah, that's what I'm doing. All right, yeah. That's, that's, I, the, that's, that's a fun way to do three. That's... All right. No, okay. I, didn't, I don't think I did that. Okay. That's what you... But my other... This is great for the week is... The brisket nachos that I had at Stagger Lee. They have uh, Metcalf Barbecue does the food there. And these brisket nachos were amazing. They were worth the $20. That is... That's too much for any nachos. I well, it's... Oh, so the thing is, it's $12 if you just want regular nachos, but to <clears throat> add the brisket... <clears throat> It's another six dollars, and then they have tax and whatever. But I'll tell you what, brisket nachos were amazing, and now I'm just freaking starving doing this podcast. Yeah, you want to wrap this up? I, <laughs> I'm, a, I'm fucking. I've, I've never too. been more hungry. <laughs> um. Here we go. Oh wow, this is an email that actually just came in. Literally just came in. Perfect timing from Shamar. Shamar, thank you for emailing. Uh, so he says, I'll put my Joe straight in your code, Mr. I don't, I don't know what that means, but watch, That's pretty your, gay. watch your mouth. Um, <laughs> so now to the question. Dude, I just moved to L.A. and I got crazy hammered at Swingers. <laughs> Great diner, by the way. And had to get carried out. It was one of my favorite spots so far. How do I reclaim my woman in my favorite drinking spot? She said if I tried, she'd kick my lily white ass. Please help. Now, okay, enough with the drunk. I don't know. It's another drunk emailer. You know what? Have a coffee. Have a water. Then send in your email with your typos. What does that even mean? Yeah, look. Go that's over not, to that's Denny's. Not a, that's not a drinking spot. It's a <clears throat> diner. All right. If you're look, go. If people are going to email the show, they need to, like you said, get a cup of coffee. Go to Denny's, eat some waffles. Yeah. Sober yeah, up sober and then up. shoot the email in. My yeah, my lily white ass. <laughs> and I don't know what. And I don't know what happened between you and your woman. How do I reclaim my woman? Oh yeah, she's probably embarrassed that you got carried out of a diner. <laughs> Hey, look, it was we've all I... been there. No, we haven't. Yes, I've yes, been we there have. Yeah, I, times. Yeah, <laughs> I've, been, I've, I've been carried out. I've been in Vegas. Uh, I, I got wheeled out of a club in a wheelchair because I was so hammered. I couldn't, <laughs> I, I couldn't move. Um, yeah, I got wheeled out. I've been actually. I shouldn't say carried out. I've been dragged out of bars. Yeah, yeah. I think I have as well. But, yeah, and here's another spam email. That's great. And here's a guy asking about Del Taco. Well, I, I no, I, I left L.A., so I didn't go to the, I didn't go bold at Del Taco. It, that's irrelevant. To you, you've been anything. to CM Smokehouse, right? Yeah. Well, yeah, okay. when you mentioned Crunchwrap Supreme, see, I didn't, I didn't bring that up because I, if I'm going to get a Crunchwrap Supreme now, I'm going to get it at CM Smokehouse. Yeah. I'm not going to get it at Taco Bell because I've had the they king. They set the bar too high. Yeah, now. I've had the king of crunch wrap yeah. supremes. So. Um, you know what? Uh, I think we're about to close the show, but there's one thing, one last thing I wanted to say. Um, oh, yeah, I talked about meeting some fans over the weekend. Yeah, ran, yeah, ran a few. Even today again, people coming up to me. Um at the bars, um, fans saying, great job, love the show, love what you do, and I love that. 
I was recognized by three different guys this weekend. All in their like mid twenties. So they yeah. pr- they appreciate me. But on to my advice. This is kind of a life advice thing that I, I wanted to give out. It's kind of a I think a cool analogy that I've thought of. Um and it is it is this, and I hope I can articulate it right. We'll try it. And some life advice I, I want to give is be the heavy bag. Now, you know, like at the gym, like Gary, do you have, you have a heavy bag here, don't you? Yeah, I got one in your the garage. garage. All right. So you might think this is good. So life is going to keep hitting you. The punches don't ever stop, <laughs> right? Yeah. So the heavy bag, its job is to take those punches. And, and then it swings back. And, the, and, yes, the heavy bag always comes back. It always stays strong, stays in position. So I, I feel like, you know, I've, I've had a lot of ups and downs uh, getting used to Austin, having to worry about work and all this and that. It's like, as I get older, I'm like, I, for a, there was a time where I'm like, you know, things are, I'm getting older. Things are just going to get easier. Life is going to be easy someday. And then I just realized you can't think that way. Things are going to keep coming at you. Yeah. So you got to be strong. You got to be the heavy bag. You take those punches, but you always, you'll always come back. What do you think of that, Gary? I agree with you <clears throat> in the sense of some, some people do keep taking punches and taking shit, but, uh, and, and that's good advice for those people. I would say you and I yeah. are probably like that, but I do think that there are people out there whose lives are actually pretty easy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, I'm, I'm just in the sense of, yeah, well, see, that's why, that's why I was trying to put it together correctly. But, but I, I do think that's good advice. Regardless. It is, because I, I feel like there's always going to be something. Like, pretty much the punches don't stop. So you just have to take them. And, 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 I'm, and I'm not talking about, like, letting people run over you or anything like that. Like, like taking shit from people in that sense. I'm just saying, like, when life comes at you hard, that, that's the, what I'm talking about, right? I'm not, I'm not saying, like, oh you're, do- oh, you're taking a lot of shit from, like, not in that sense. I'm just talking about, like, when life things hit, like, when there's difficulties and hardships, just keep taking them. They're going to hit you, right. and you just got to be that heavy bag, and just you'll, you're going to always swing back. And swing. You're, you're gonna strong, and you're gonna be yeah. all right. You're gonna, you you'll still be standing. Swing right on over to Taco Bell. Yeah, and get a quesadilla. Yeah, I'm excited to go to Taco Bell. I, 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 all, I actually really am too. Seriously. All I'm eating is Mexican food. I, I mean, not a lot. I guess too much, but I'm eating a lot of Mexican, a lot of uh, not too much, not much barbecue, but a lot of Mexican, a lot of burgers these days. Yeah, Austin's a f- big food city. Still so. trying to find a, a more broccoli. Remember? Still yeah, trying to find. Yeah, I, I don't understand what you're. <laughs> I want a side of broccoli. The only place that offers it is Flower Child. And it's far from where Dude, I was. Dude, I, I, I was out eating the other day and got broccoli. I don't, I don't remember even I, where it was. You know what I did the other day? Uber eats a monster burrito from Freebirds. It's this place that's like a better Chipotle. Right. Oh, it's great. Oh, one thing with that, though. I, so I did Uber Eats. And, it, and that place is one of these places where I hate, I hate this now, where they make the to-go orders and they put them on like a shelf on the side and don't like check with a worker before they take it. Oh, yeah. So someone clearly took my food because I had like four different d- different drivers on it. So they kept going in and telling them, oh, that order's already gone. And finally, like, the fourth person I call them, I'm like, can you tell them to make my food? Can you guys make my freaking food again? Because somebody stole it because you're leaving it up to these dumb drivers just to take the right food. 
Oh, an order for Joe. Oh, maybe there's more than one Joe, the most common name in the freaking world. Pay I attention should... to the food you're grabbing. I don't want to go through that again. Again, be the heavy bag. I bounced back. All right, we're going to Taco Bell. Let's do it. My, you're, you're driving because I don't have a car. Um, <laughs> <laughs> all right, everybody. This has been uh, this episode of Joe Code. Uh, hope you enjoyed our set. And uh, it's going to be an ever-evolving set here. And, again, last one final reminder. Come to the show Thursday night. Joe and Comics Eat. I'm hosting Thursday, January 20th, 8 p.m. Tickets now in my Instagram bio. See you there. Thank you.